Are you ready to unlock the secrets to manifesting your deepest desires? Discover the art of getting what you desire and awaken your true potential. Stay tuned to uncover the keys to abundance, fulfillment and inner peace. Lesson 1. Give generously to others. In the teachings of Buddhism, the act of giving generously to others is considered as a fundamental practice that holds immense significance. This act of selfless giving, known as dana in Pali, is a key way to cultivate positive qualities within oneself and create a ripple effect of goodness in the world. When we give generously to others, we are not only helping those in need, but also nurturing our own hearts and minds. The act of generosity allows us to transcend self-centeredness and connect with the interconnected nature of all beings. It is a practice that encourages us to move beyond our own desires and concerns, fostering a sense of compassion and empathy towards others. By giving freely to others, we sow the seeds of kindness and compassion in our own hearts. This act of giving helps us to develop qualities such as selflessness, kindness and gratitude. It opens our hearts to the needs and suffering of others, fostering a deeper sense of connection and unity with all beings. Giving generously to others is a powerful way to create positive energy in our lives. When we give without expecting anything in return, we generate a sense of abundance and contentment within ourselves. This positive energy not only benefits those we give to, but also radiates outwards, touching the lives of others in ways we may never fully realize. Generosity is often described as a practice of making offerings in Buddhism. Through the act of giving, we make offerings of our time, resources and energy to benefit others. This act of offering is seen as a way to cultivate merit and generate positive karma, leading to a greater sense of well-being and happiness in our lives. In the Buddhist tradition, there are many stories and teachings that highlight the power of generosity. One such story is that of King Ashoka, a renowned ruler in ancient India who was known for his acts of generosity and compassion. King Ashoka's generosity not only earned him the respect and admiration of his subjects, but also brought prosperity and peace to his kingdom. Another important aspect of giving generously in Buddhism is the practice of Dana Paramita, or the perfection of generosity. This practice is one of the six paramitas, or virtues, that are cultivated on the path to enlightenment. By practicing generosity, we not only benefit others, but also purify our own minds and create the conditions for spiritual growth and liberation. The practice of giving generously to others is a profound way to cultivate positive qualities within ourselves, connect with the interconnected nature of all beings, and create a ripple effect of goodness in the world. As we open our hearts and share our resources with others, we sow the seeds of kindness, compassion and joy that will bear fruits of happiness and fulfillment in our own lives and in the lives of those around us. Therefore, let us embrace the power of generosity and make it a cornerstone of our daily lives. Let us give freely and selflessly with open hearts and minds, knowing that our acts of kindness and compassion have the power to transform not only our own lives, but also the world around us. Lesson 2. Free yourself from attachments. Attachment is a common human experience that often leads to suffering, according to the teachings of Buddhism. To understand the concept of attachment, we need to look at how it manifests in our lives and why it can be detrimental to our well-being. Attachment can take many forms, such as clinging to material possessions, holding on to relationships that no longer serve us, or being fixated on certain outcomes or expectations. While it is natural to form connections and develop preferences, becoming overly attached can create a sense of dependency that can cloud our judgment and impede our ability to grow and evolve. Attachment is seen as one of the root causes of suffering, 
along with ignorance and aversion. The Buddha taught that our attachment to things, people or experiences leads to craving and desire, which in turn causes suffering. When we become attached to something, we develop a strong emotional connection to it and come to believe that our happiness or well-being is contingent upon its presence in our lives. This attachment can prevent us from seeing things as they truly are and can lead to feelings of pain, disappointment and dissatisfaction when things do not go as we wish. To free ourselves from the trap of attachment, we must cultivate a deeper understanding of impermanence and the transient nature of all things. Everything in this world is subject to change, decay and eventual dissolution. Nothing lasts forever and clinging to things that are fleeting and impermanent only leads to suffering. By recognizing and accepting the impermanence of life, we can start to loosen our grip on the things we are attached to and develop a greater sense of peace and equanimity. Non-attachment does not mean that we should reject or suppress our natural inclinations and preferences. Rather, it invites us to relate it to the world with an open heart and a flexible mindset. It means being able to enjoy life fully without becoming enslaved by our desires or expectations. By freeing ourselves from attachments, we create space for new possibilities and opportunities to enter our lives. When we let go of the need to control outcomes or cling to specific outcomes, we open ourselves up to the spontaneity and magic of the present moment. We become more open to change, more resilient in the face of adversity and more attuned to the ever-changing nature of existence. Freeing ourselves from attachments allows us to cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment that is not dependent on external circumstances or conditions. Practicing non-attachment requires mindfulness, self-awareness and a willingness to let go of the things that no longer serve us. It involves observing our thoughts, emotions and behaviors without judgment and letting them pass through us without getting entangled in them. It means learning to appreciate the beauty and richness of life without grasping onto it or trying to hold on to it. Non-attachment is not about renouncing the world or becoming detached from reality. It is about engaging with life fully while remaining free from the mental and emotional bonds that can lead to suffering. We can also practice non-attachment in our relationships by letting go of expectations and allowing others to be who they are without trying to change them. By embracing impermanence and cultivating a spirit of non-attachment, we can find greater peace, joy and fulfillment in our lives. Lesson 3. Take the journey within to find answers. When we embark on the journey within ourselves, we are essentially delving into the depths of our own consciousness, seeking clarity and understanding. It is a process of self-discovery, a quest to unravel the mysteries that lie beneath the surface of our thoughts and emotions. Taking the journey within requires us to set aside time for introspection and reflection. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to get caught up in the external noise and distractions that pull us away from our true selves. But by creating a space for solitude and silence, we can create an opportunity to connect with our inner being and listen to the whispers of our soul. Meditation is a powerful tool that can guide us on this journey within. It is a practice that involves sitting in stillness, focusing on our breath, and observing our thoughts without judgment. Through meditation, we can learn to quiet the mind and cultivate a sense of inner peace and serenity. In this state of calmness, we become more attuned to our inner voice and intuition, allowing us to access the wisdom that resides within us. As we delve deeper into the recesses of our consciousness, we may encounter aspects of ourselves that we have been ignoring or suppressing, these may be fears, insecurities, or unresolved emotions that have been holding us back from releasing our true potential. 
By acknowledging and accepting these aspects of ourselves, we can begin the process of healing and transformation. Through the practice of mindfulness, we can bring a sense of awareness and presence to our daily lives. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment with openness and curiosity, without getting caught up in judgments or distractions. By cultivating mindfulness in our daily activities, we can live more authentically and consciously, making choices that are in alignment with our true selves. The journey within is not always easy. It requires courage and vulnerability to face the shadows and uncertainties that reside within us. But it is through this process of self-exploration that we can uncover our true potential and live a more fulfilling and meaningful life. As we navigate the twists and turns of our inner landscape, we may encounter moments of doubt and confusion. It is important to remember that this is all part of the journey. By embracing the uncertainty and trusting in the process, we can learn to cultivate patience and resilience, knowing that the answers we seek will reveal themselves in due time. By tuning into our inner wisdom and trusting in our intuition, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and clarity. The path may be long and winding, but with each step we take, we come closer to finding the answers we seek and living a life that is aligned with our true purpose. Lesson 4. Walk a Humble Path Humility is a quality that the Buddha himself exemplified and emphasized in his teachings. It is about recognizing our limitations, acknowledging our interconnectedness with all beings, and letting go of our ego. Walking a humble path means putting aside our pride and cultivating a mindset of openness, respect, and gratitude towards others and the world around us. Humility also involves accepting our imperfections and learning from our mistakes. It is about being humble enough to recognize that we don't have all the answers and that we can benefit from the wisdom and guidance of others. When we walk a humble path, we are willing to listen to different perspectives, learn from diverse sources and grow from our experiences. Walking a humble path involves gratitude and appreciation for the blessings we have in our lives. It is about recognizing the efforts of others and being thankful for the support, kindness and love we receive. By cultivating a sense of gratitude, we can shift our focus from what we lack to what we have and find contentment in the present moment. Practicing humility also means letting go of the need to control everything. It is about surrendering to the flow of life trusting in the wisdom of the universe and accepting that things may not always go as planned. By relinquishing our need for power and control, we can find peace in the midst of uncertainty and cultivate a sense of inner strength that is not dependent on external circumstances. Walking a humble path requires self-awareness and the willingness to confront our own ego. It is about recognizing when our pride, jealousy or selfishness arise and working towards transforming these negative qualities into positive virtues. By practicing self-reflection and introspection, we can cultivate humility and develop a greater sense of self-mastery. Humility is also closely linked to the concept of mindfulness in Buddhism. By being fully present in the moment and aware of our thoughts, emotions and actions, we can cultivate a humble attitude towards life. Mindfulness helps us let go of our attachment to the past and the future, allowing us to experience the richness of the present moment with humility and grace. Walking a humble path is not about diminishing ourselves or downplaying our strengths and abilities, it is about recognizing our inherent worth and potential while staying grounded in a sense of humility and modesty. By embracing our strengths with humility, we can use them to serve others and contribute positively to the world around us. By acknowledging our interconnectedness, accepting our imperfections, practicing gratitude, letting go of control, confronting our ego 
and cultivating mindfulness, we can embody the essence of humility in our daily lives. May we all walk this humble path with sincerity and humility, seeking to learn, grow, and contribute to the well-being of all beings. Lesson 5. Conquer the Ego and Free the Soul Buddhism teaches us that true freedom and liberation come from transcending the ego and connecting with our higher self. The ego creates a false sense of identity based on external factors such as wealth, status and relationships, trapping us in a cycle of craving and aversion. By identifying with the ego, we become attached to these fleeting experiences, leading to suffering and discontentment. Conquering the ego is not about suppressing our desires or denying our emotions. Rather, it is about transcending the limited self-image created by the ego and realizing our true nature. It requires self-awareness, mindfulness and introspection to recognize the patterns of the ego and the ways in which it influences our thoughts, actions and relationships. By shining the light of awareness on the ego, we can begin to loosen its grip on our consciousness and free ourselves from its limitations. By letting go of our attachment to external things and cultivating inner peace and contentment, we can free ourselves from the chains of the ego and experience a deeper sense of joy and fulfillment. Non-attachment does not mean renouncing the world or living in isolation. Rather, it is about cultivating a sense of inner freedom that allows us to engage with the world from a place of clarity, compassion and wisdom. Another important aspect of conquering the ego is the practice of selflessness and compassion. When we are able to transcend the ego and connect with our higher self, we realize that we are interconnected with all beings and that true happiness comes from serving others and contributing to the well-being of the world. By letting go of our self-centered desires and ego-driven ambitions, we can open our hearts to the suffering of others and respond with kindness, empathy and compassion. The journey of conquering the ego and freeing the soul is a profound and transformative process that requires courage, humility and perseverance. It is a journey of self-discovery and self-transformation that leads to a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. By embracing this journey with an open heart and an open mind, we can break free from the limitations of the ego and experience the true joy and freedom that come from living in alignment with our higher self. As we embark on this journey of self-discovery and self-transformation, it is important to remember that the ego is not our enemy. Rather, it is a necessary aspect of our human experience that can be transformed and transcended through awareness, compassion and wisdom. By embracing our ego with love and understanding, we can harness its energy and creativity to serve the higher good and contribute to the evolution of consciousness. By transcending the ego and connecting with our higher self, we can experience true freedom, joy and fulfillment that transcends the limitations of the material world. It is a journey of self-discovery and self-transformation that leads to a deeper sense of connection, purpose and peace. Lesson 6. Don't be afraid of starting small. We might have big dreams and lofty goals that we wish to achieve, but the sheer magnitude of these objectives can sometimes paralyze us with fear and doubt. It is in these moments of uncertainty that the wisdom of starting small shines brightly. Buddhism teaches us the power of taking incremental steps towards our goals. It emphasizes that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This profound teaching reminds us that even the most monumental achievements are attainable when we break them down into manageable segments and tackle them one at a time. When we set out to pursue our desires, we often envision the end result, a successful career, a loving relationship, financial stability or inner peace. 
While these aspirations are indeed worthwhile, they can be intimidating if we focus solely on the final outcome. This is where the concept of starting small comes into play. By starting small, we alleviate the pressure of having to achieve everything all at once. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our goals, we can focus on taking small, manageable steps in the right direction. Each small action we take becomes a building block that propels us forward and creates momentum towards our desired destination. Starting small allows us to build confidence and competence gradually. It enables us to develop the necessary skills, knowledge and experience that are essential for success. Just as a tiny seed grows into a mighty tree with patience, care and perseverance, our small efforts, when nurtured consistently, can blossom into remarkable achievements. When we tackle challenges incrementally, we give ourselves the chance to experiment, make mistakes and learn from them. Rather than fearing failure, we embrace it as a valuable teacher that guides us towards improvement and excellence. Starting small helps us cultivate resilience and persistence. In the face of setbacks and obstacles, our small victories serve as reminders of our progress and potential. Each small step forward strengthens our resolve and fortifies our determination to keep moving forward, no matter how challenging the path may be. It is important to remember that greatness is not achieved overnight. The most successful individuals in history did not reach the pinnacle of their achievements in a single bound. They started small, faced setbacks and failures, but never wavered in their commitment to their goals. When we embrace the principle of starting small, we free ourselves from the shackles of perfectionism and comparison. We acknowledge that progress is more important than perfection and that each step forward, not matter how small, brings us closer to our dreams. By committing to starting small and persisting with determination, we pave the way for our desires to manifest and our aspirations to become reality. So if you find yourself hesitating to pursue your dreams because they seem too daunting, remember this lesson and start with one small step today and watch as it leads you on a transformative journey towards the fulfillment of your deepest desires. Lesson 7. Your thoughts are material. Imagine your mind as a garden where every thought you think is like a seed planted in the soil. Just like seeds grow into plants and bear fruits or flowers, our thoughts too have the potential to grow and manifest into tangible outcomes in our lives. This is the essence of the teaching that your thoughts are material. What you think, you create. The concept of our thoughts being material emphasizes that they are not just passive occurrences in our minds, but active forces that shape our reality. When we entertain positive, nurturing thoughts, we are sowing seeds of positivity that will eventually blossom into joy, success and fulfillment. On the other hand, negative limiting thoughts can lead to experiences of struggle, disappointment and despair. According to Buddhist teachings, the law of attraction is intricately linked to the material nature of our thoughts. The law of attraction suggests that like attracts like, meaning that the energy we emit through our thoughts and emotions draws similar energy back to us. Therefore, if we consistently focus on positive thoughts and maintain a mindset of abundance and gratitude, we are more likely to attract positive experiences and opportunities into our lives. To harness the power of this principle, it is essential to cultivate mindfulness and awareness of our thoughts. By taking a step back and observing the patterns and quality of our thoughts, we can actively choose to nurture positive ones and release negative ones. This process requires practice and patience, as our minds are often conditioned to default to negative thinking due to various factors such as past experiences, societal influences and personal insecurities. 
the teaching that your thoughts are material highlights, the interconnected nature of the universe. Just as a singular pebble creatis ripples in a pond, our thoughts send out energetic vibrations that reverberate across the vast cosmic web of existence. This interconnectivity means that the energy we put out into the world through our thoughts can influence not only our own lives, but also the lives of others and the environment as a whole. Contemplating the materiality of our thoughts invites us to take responsibility for our inner world and recognize the immense creative power we possess. Instead of being passive recipients of circumstance, we become active co-creators of our reality shaping our destinies through the thoughts we choose to entertain and nurture. In practical terms, applying the principle that your thoughts are material involves setting clear intentions and aligning your thoughts, words and actions with those intentions. By visualizing your goals, affirming their attainment and maintaining a positive attitude, you are essentially programming your mind to magnetize the people, resources and circumstances needed to manifest your desires. Practicing gratitude and cultivating a mindset of abundance can act as potent fertilizers for the seeds of your thoughts, accelerating their growth and fruition. When you appreciate the blessings in your life and approach challenges with a mindset of learning and growth, you shift your energetic frequency to one that is more aligned with the universal flow of harmonious manifestation. Remember, the power of your thoughts is not limited to personal gain or material success. When you radiate love, compassion and kindness through your thoughts, you contribute to the collective consciousness of humanity, uplifting others and spreading positivity in the world. Every loving thought you send out is like a beacon of light that illuminates the darkness and inspires others to awaken to their own inner wisdom and potential. By harnessing the transformative power of your thoughts and aligning them with your deepest intentions and values, you can sculpt a reality that reflects the beauty, love and abundance that reside within you. Embrace this teaching with an open heart and a curious mind and witness the magical unfoldment of your dreams and desires in the wondrous tapestry of existence. Lesson 8. Make an effort to understand others. When we make an effort to understand others, we are practicing one of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism, compassion. Compassion is the ability to feel empathy and concern for the suffering of others. It involves not only recognizing the emotions and struggles of others, but also taking action to alleviate their pain and help them find peace and happiness. Understanding others starts with listening. When we truly listen to someone, we are giving them the gift of our full attention and presence. We are showing them that we value their thoughts and feelings and that we are willing to engage with them in a meaningful way. Listening is a powerful tool for building trust and strengthening relationships. It allows us to connect with others on a deeper level and create a sense of mutual understanding and respect. Empathy is another important aspect of understanding others. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. It involves putting ourselves in someone else's shoes and seeing the world from their perspective. When we practice empathy, we are able to connect with others in a profound way and build strong bonds based on mutual understanding and compassion. Making an effort to understand others requires patience and mindfulness. It involves being open-minded and non-judgmental and being willing to see beyond our own preconceived notions and biases. It means being curious about others and their experiences and being willing to listen and learn from them. By approaching others with a sense of curiosity and openness, we can create a space for honest and meaningful communication that fosters connection and understanding. Understanding others also involves recognizing the humanity in each person we encounter. 
It means acknowledging that we are all connected by our shared experiences of joy, suffering, and everything in between. When we see others as fellow human beings with their own unique stories and struggles, we are more likely to treat them with kindness and compassion. We are more likely to extend a helping hand when needed and offer support and encouragement when they are facing challenges. When we make an effort to understand others, we are acknowledging this interconnectedness and recognizing that we all share a common humanity. By cultivating compassion and empathy towards others, we are not only enriching our own lives, but also contributing to the well-being of the wider world. By making an effort to understand others, we are not only building stronger relationships and fostering a sense of community, but we are also cultivating qualities that are essential for our own personal growth and development. When we practice compassion and empathy towards others, we are opening our hearts and minds to new perspectives and ways of thinking. We are expanding our capacity for love and understanding and deepening our own sense of connection to the world around us. By cultivating compassion and empathy towards others, we are building a foundation of love and understanding that can lead to greater peace, happiness and fulfillment. When we approach others with an open heart and mind, we create a world where kindness and empathy reign and where our desires and intentions can be fulfilled in harmony with the well-being of all beings. Overall, the art of getting what you desire, as taught by Buddhism, is a journey of self-discovery, transformation and spiritual growth. By embracing these teachings and integrating them into our lives, we can unlock the power within us to manifest our desires and live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Remember, the key lies not just in achieving what we desire, but in how we align our desires with the greater good of all beings.